In this video, we're going over the memory card settings in the Canon R6. To get started, let's go into the menu. Press the menu button, then use the joystick. We're gonna move this over to the setup menu, which is the wrench icon. So we're gonna keep going to the right here. So we get to the yellow tab, the wrench icon, which is the setup menu. And then that first one on the top is the record function and card folder selection. Now you see a lot of different options. Before we get into any of those, we're going to go to the bottom. This first one is the record playback function for the stills mode. And the one below that is the record playback mode for video recording. Setting this card position tells the camera where they need to put each type of media, whether it's stills or video files. Now let's go up to the very top where it says stills and video separate. Right now it's disabled. When you go into it and enable it, you can see that it's blocked out all of these other items except for the folder. You can rename the folder if you want to. So what the camera is going to do, since I have the stills going to card one and video files going to card two, it's gonna keep that media separate. Now let's go ahead and disable that. Let's go down one into the photo record options. We have a few different options here. By default, it was set to standard. We also have auto switch card, record separately and record to multiple. The standard mode records to the selected card, whether that was one or two. Auto switch card is the same as standard, but it switches to the next card when it becomes full. This is your overflow mode. You fill up one card, it goes to the next card. When you go down to record separately, this lets you choose a specific image quality for each card. This is helpful if you're shooting an event where you need raw images to go to one card and JPEGs to go to the next card. The next one is record to multiple. For each shot, a still photo is recorded to both cards in the same quality. This is your redundant mode. So if you're shooting an event like a wedding and you can't redo it, this allows you, for example, to shoot raw on both cards. You get the same raw images from card one onto card two. Now let's go back. Now go down to the video record options. First, it's set to standard. Standard records movies to the selected card. If we go down to auto switch card, again, this is your overflow mode, just like we saw on the photo side. When one card gets full, it overflows to the next card. 